guys, how are you doing today? Cleo says hello. I hope that you are doing amazing and fantastic and wonderful. I can't believe it. It is now May, my son is now nine months old and we have another month to wrap up. So this month seems as though I read a bajillion books. Like technically I read, let's see, 37, 38, 39, 40, um, 41 books this month. Now, 37 of those were for work. So I, uh, I'm only going to talk about two of the ones that I absolutely loved from, um, the curriculum, but I was basically taking, um, all of the books that third through fifth grade read and creating comprehension and exams online and making it easy to auto grade for teachers and things like that. So um, one of the ones that I absolutely loved was called My Man Blue by Nikki Grimes. I gave it a five out of five stars. I was so impressed at how diverse and um, like accepting this curriculum was, especially being from Oklahoma. I was not expecting that at all. My Man Blue is written in verse and uh, every page is a different poem. And I absolutely loved that and it shows the um, the main characters, this little boy who doesn't have a father figure. He's African American and he lives in a lower socioeconomic um, uh, project kind of housing and um, this man, Blue, comes out of nowhere and is an old friend of his mom's and he's not trustworthy of Blue um, at first and then they start hanging out more and more and Blue um, lost a child of his own and has sort of taken in this little boy um, and wants to show him how good everything can be when you work hard for it. And I'm getting chills just thinking about it. It was just really, really, really good read and I'm very excited that um, my district has that in their curriculum. Another one that I read was uh, the Van Gogh, she knocked my phone down, the Van Gogh Cafe by Cynthia Ryland. I gave it a four stars. Um, it's a, sort of like a small chapter book and it's all about the Van Gogh Cafe and how things are, are a little magical um, at the Van Gogh Cafe and every chapter is a different part or a different something that has happened at the Van Gogh Cafe and it just I really really enjoyed um reading it I I really loved uh seeing it from the it, it, the cafe is run by this man and his little girl and just seeing um all of it through the perspective of the little girl and hard-hitting things like life and death and acceptance and um I really 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 enjoyed it it was it was a good read so if you have any kiddos third fourth and fifth grade um, I would recommend both those books they were really good so um, let's start on to the books that I uh, read for funsies um, so the first one I read was The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet by Becky Chambers. Um, this is the start of a trilogy or a series. It's the Wayfarer series, I believe. Um, and I gave it a three stars. I did really enjoy it. I read it on, um, audiobook from my library and, um, it's just sort of like almost like a space opera I would say. The main characters are from all different races. The human race is actually seen as probably like one of the lower races um, when we've finally broken through um, and understood how to uh, travel in space and everything and it was it was really good. Um, I, even though I gave it three stars um, I will I, I will continue on with the series. Um, it just might not be like the, the 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 next book that I grab like instantly. You know what I mean? Um, the next book I read was Without a Brew, which is book number five in the Sloan Cross Mystery series by 
Ellie Alexander, and of course you guys know, I gave it a five out of five stars. It was fantastic, it was amazing. I got the next snippet of the mystery behind Sloane's like, um, lineage and I'm not gonna spoil it for anyone because I uh, you guys know how much I love a mystery within a mystery and this is the 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 part that I was most excited about was finding out more of the behind the scenes mystery that has been going on through the five five books so far so I really really like that if you like um pub small town uh uh, different ancestry like heritage because it, it's a lot about the German heritage and things like that you should go pick up the Sloan Krauss mystery series. Um, the next book I read was Murder She Barked by Krista Davis. This was for the Cozy Escape Book Club for um, April and I gave it a three and a half stars. If you want to know um, in depth everything that I thought about it you should go check out our live stream that was over on um, Lisa's channel um, and uh, there's like 30-45 minutes of um, us talking about it. It was mostly, the reason why I gave it three and a half stars and I probably won't be continuing with the series is the mystery was very, very convoluted and there were so many like red herrings and it was just, it was very, very hard to keep up with and I really want to like, I loved the idea. So the main character is um, Holly and she's called by her grandmother's friend to come, um, down to Wagtail, which love the name of the small business, it's fantastic, to come down to, to Wagtail because her grandmother needs her. So she leaves her boyfriend Ben at his um, boss's house, takes his car, drives all the way down to Wagtail, and mystery ensues. Um, someone's trying to kill her grandmother, and there's just a whole bunch of different things that are going that is going on, but it's almost too many things. Um, I love the idea that Wagtail is an animal friendly uh, place and that you can bring your dogs and your cats to the restaurants and different things like that. I really liked that, but I don't know, the writing was just, it was a lot all at once. Um, and the last book, I finished it on the 30th, guys. I finished it the last day of the month, was The Mysterious Benedict Society by Trenton Lee Stewart. I loved this. This was a middle grade book. I buddy read it with M, um, the glittery bookworm on um, Bookstagram, and I listened to it on audio, and the the narrator sounded like Winnie the Pooh. He was fantastic and gave me all of the feels. Like, I own the book physically, but just so you know, I, <laughs> I rechecked out the audiobook like three different times because I was bound and determined to finish it on audio. So I have, I currently have the second book. Um, I'm, I put it on hold and I'm waiting for uh, whoever has it before me to finish it so that I can, um, you know, dive deeper into it. But yeah, that was uh, my reading wrap up uh, for, um, for April. It seems like I read a lot of books and I did. Uh, but I read, technically I read, um, four, uh, books of my own and then 37, uh, books for, for work. So, um, what did you read for the month of April? That was your absolute favorite book. Let me know down below. That's the end of this chapter of Courtagonist. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, guys, happy reading. Bye.